This is Sleep Apnea and CPAP, my journey. First of all, a quick disclaimer. I'm not a doctor or a nurse. What I am is someone who recently has been diagnosed with sleep apnea. So how'd this journey all begin? Well, I normally go down to a convention down in Dayton, Ohio once a year. It's a multi-day convention, so needless to say, you have to get a hotel. Well, of course, the hotels are double occupancy, so I had a roommate. I normally sleep alone. Well, after the first night, my roommate said, Boy, you snore a lot, which I kind of blew off as, hey, all guys snore. But I had thought about it, and I know that they have these snoring strips, so I decided to get some of those. Figured I'm going to solve this problem. So about two months later, I went to AirVenture in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and camped out. Well, I had a few people from the area campsites tell me, wow, I snored a lot. And I'm thinking to myself, well, heck, I got those Breathe Right strips. Can't be snoring that bad. But one thing I did notice was for almost the entire convention, I was dog tired. Typically, by 5 o'clock at night, I was ready to go to sleep. I'm thinking about a little bit farther, I realized that, heck, I could fall asleep on a dime during the day. And at night, I rarely slept through the night. So, you know, like most guys, we just kind of ignore it. Figure it'll go away. Well, guess what? It didn't. So I talked to a few family members and some friends. One of my family members mentioned, well, maybe you got apnea. So a couple months later, when I was in for my annual physical, I mentioned to the doc about being tired occasionally during the day and not sleeping very well at night. I figured I was just getting old. And the doctor mentioned apnea again and recommended that I see a specialist. So before I had my doctor's visit, I decided to do a little deep diving. What was this apnea all about? And here's what I found out. So what is sleep apnea and what makes him think that I have it? Sleep apnea is a common disorder in which you have one or more pauses in breathing or shallow breaths while you sleep. As a result, the quality of sleep is poor, which makes you tired during the day. Sleep apnea is a leading cause of excessive daytime sleepiness. Sleep apnea often goes undiagnosed. Doctors usually can't detect the condition during a normal routine office visit. Also, no blood tests can help diagnose the condition. Most people who have sleep apnea don't know that they have it because it only occurs during sleep. A family member or bed partner might be the first to notice the signs of sleep apnea. So what are the main signs and symptoms of the sleep apnea stuff? One of the most common signs of obstructive sleep apnea is loud or chronic snoring. Pauses may occur in the snoring. Choking or gasping may follow the pauses. The snoring is usually loudest when sleeping on your back. It might be less noisy when you sleep on your side. You might not snore every night. Over time, however, the snoring can happen more often and get louder. One thing to keep in mind, not everyone who snores has sleep apnea. Only a doctor can make that diagnosis. So I ended up seeing a sleep doctor. He told me we better do a sleep test. My thoughts immediately were, a test while sleeping? This ought to be interesting. So back to the books. What is a sleep test? And above all, how do I get a passing grade? A sleep test, or a sleep study, are tests that measure how well you sleep and how your body responds to sleep problems. These tests can help your doctor find out whether you have a sleep disorder and how severe it is. Sleep studies are important because untreated sleep disorders can raise your risk of heart disease, high blood pressure, stroke, and other medical conditions. So off to the sleep test we go. Now let me tell you, they're going to wire you for sound. This is me at sleep test. When they hook up all this stuff, you're going to wonder how you're going to sleep with all this stuff on. But you do. And after about two weeks, you get a call from the doctor. And in my case, he said I needed a CPAP machine. So where do we go back to the books? I've heard of CPAP machines before, but didn't know a whole lot about them. CPAP stands for Constant Positive Airway Pressure and is the most common treatment for moderate to severe sleep apnea in adults. The CPAP machine uses a mask that fits over your mouth and nose, or in some cases, just over your nose. The machine generally blows air into your throat. The pressure from the air helps keep your airway open while you're asleep. Treating sleep apnea may help stop snoring, but not snoring doesn't mean that you no longer have sleep apnea or can stop using the CPAP. Your sleep apnea will return if you stop using the CPAP machine or don't use it correctly. So where do you get one of these devices? Well, you need to go to a medical supply store. Most pharmacies won't sell a CPAP machine. And when you go to the medical supply store, you should expect 
the process to take about an hour. Because not only are they going to show you how to use a CPAP machine, they also need to fit you with a mask. In my case, this is the machine that I use. Yours may vary. And I'm not going to get into the masks a whole lot here, because there are so many that are available. And this is me and my mask. And believe me, it does take some time to get used to. And you also ain't going to win any beauty contests wearing it either. But it can save your life.